So at the time, two years ago, when I was on that hunger strike, I realized that it's not that I can't trust an individual policeman that I trained. It's the institution. The, the system mm. is, it, it's, it, the problem is, and this is a problem with systems everywhere, which is why your audience will understand this. All systems skew towards power. They skew towards centralization. It's the, it's the nature of a system. It's like saying all men have a, again, this is a, by way of analogy, but it's going to make sense. Look, a, a, a man and a woman sexual drive, right? So a man is quicker to arouse and quicker to climax. And a woman takes longer to arouse and longer to climax. That's just a biological difference that, that you know, that is inherent within us. So, so no matter what you do, that's going to be the case, right? It's just, it's a quality of the product. So a system skews towards centralization because it exists to centralize. That's why it's there, right? So it will always find a self-perpetuating logic to further centralize because it was founded on that principle, yeah? Which is why the US constitution exists, to keep the separation of powers. The founding fathers understood this. Mm -hmm. So the, what I realize is it doesn't matter. This could be a lovely policeman that's got the best of intentions right up until... I mean, the head of MI6, I know him. You know, we, we've had drinks together, sat there, had a chat with him, John Soares. He, he came and visited me in prison. The, the, the very last head of MI6, he was ambassador to Egypt at the time, yeah? I mean, I know all these guys. The mayor of London visited me in prison, Sadiq Khan, right? So it's not that they're evil people. They all know me on a first names basis, you know? The problem is that a system cannot help but skew towards centralization. And it will use any excuse it can to do so. So it's about using existing agendas and almost the, the human species does this naturally it seeks for justification to, to achieve an ends and that justification if it exists in the rhetoric that's already out there such as we need to do x y and z to stop extremism it will appropriate that for the purposes of centralization and that's when i realized that you've got a problem in china with this extremism agenda being used for a genocide but we are all tied into china for our tech at the time we were right we were about to roll out huawei it was before the genocide was acknowledged by our government and by the American State Department. It is now, thankfully. But we were reliant entirely on their tech infrastructure and were going to become even more so because of 5G. My, um, my friend Mark Moss uh, talks about this a lot. Yeah. And he says, uh, he looks at different cycles. He looks at tech. So what are the three cycles, Dan? It's tech, financial, and cultural. Yeah. And he said, you tend to go in these group cycles. Yep. And one's like a, 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 a like a 40 year cycle, one's an 80 year cycle, one's like a 250 year cycle. And he said, they're all peak, they're all heading now to hit their cycle peak right now. He says, we're at peak centralization. Yeah. And what's happening is we're overcorrecting to the point whereby, you know, the governments and the, the things that governments are doing now are things we, you know, 20 years ago, we wouldn't have thought they would do. Yeah. You know, locking down Absolutely. entire societies yeah. and, and such. Uh, and what he talks about is that that when it overcorrects, it will recorrect, and the recorrection is the the rise of decentralization. Absolutely. Hence, whether it's Bitcoin yeah. or uh, the use of cryptography, yeah. you know, all these things are now that is the revolution that's coming behind this, where people have kind of like we've had enough of this. Yeah. 